Hi, this is Stacy. Welcome to Gooseberry Bridge Farm. As in so many of our videos, I'm starting in the greenhouse, even though this video has nothing to do with the greenhouse. Today, we're going to talk about cloth napkins. Um, and not the kind that you fold all pretty on your table at fancy meals. We're talking about what lots of people call unpaper towels, which I think is just kind of ridiculous. They're cloth napkins. Or in our case, uh, most of our cloth napkins are washcloths. Um, I got uh, busy at some point, probably about four years ago, and uh, stopped making all of our own napkins and realized that like, you can still save a lot of money not sewing them yourself, which opens up this world to a lot more people. Uh, you can just buy them at Walmart, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, and um, or wherever you buy washcloths, but they're very inexpensive that way. You could also buy old washcloths at um, thrift stores or whatever. And if you're into sewing, you can make cloth napkins out of receiving blankets, uh, fabric scraps. The one thing that lots of people do is old t-shirts. I don't like those. They don't absorb as much and they won't be like what you're used to with a paper towel. But um, the washcloths are like they blow paper towels out of the water. They're so much better at cleaning up messes and all of that, as long as they don't get build up. After you wash them for three to five years, they'll start getting some kind of build up. It depends on your water type, what you use to wash them, what you use them for, which I'll talk about a little bit in this video. But in general, they are pretty low maintenance and you can, uh, you can get a lot of uses out of them before they eventually start to fall apart. I did do the math on our napkin usage over the last uh, 10 to 13 years since we started using cloth napkins in 2009. Um, I'm estimating that we saved based on the current price of paper towels and this is kind of hard to compare because in many cases you would use two or three paper towels for something that one cloth napkin can do for you. So. Um, but just going one to one, we've saved over $3,000 in paper towels. Not to mention the fact that we're not throwing out all of that. Uh, we are washing them, which many people would go, what the water? But we also wash um, towels in the same loads. And also, um, for many, many years there, we were washing cloth diapers in the same load. So it was just a little bit extra. Now, if you wanted to, you could wash these napkins with your clothes. I don't because I wash them in really hot water because we're not that careful about what we get on them as far as greasy stuff and all of that that needs hot water to be removed. Okay, so when we first started, um, we used almost exclusively flannel because I would buy it on um, clearance and this this is a flannel napkin and it's small. This is like a kid size, um, there's a mason jar, <laughs> kid size napkin. Um, these tend to wrinkle and get folded up like this in my washing machine. So I don't make this size anymore, but this one is probably three or five years old. Um, eventually they get, they wear out, but it takes years and years to wear them out. Um, this is a newer and bigger flannel napkin and I actually cut this one you can see the tag there I cut up a baby receiving blanket flannel receiving blanket um into it was either four or six squares and then sewed around the edges with a I use a serger but you can just zigzag or fold it over um there's another big one this was another receiving blanket and then this is a washcloth from Walmart this is a just a cotton washcloth. This one is probably at least a couple years old. I just got some new ones so that I could show you how they come. Um, this is the fastest, easiest way is buying these washcloths. And you can see how pretty and new these are. Um, this 18 pack is currently in our area, $6. But around the time that they have back to school stuff, it usually goes for $3.99 or $4.50 in our area which is pretty cheap for cloth napkins, just considering how much you save in paper towels. I got two of those this year. Um, my kids tend to like hide these around the house, but we have a 
bag in the kitchen where we put them when they're dirty. I will go show you that. Okay, so this bag is hanging on this, it, there's a post in the middle of my kitchen covered in aprons um, and other stuff. So the bag is just hanging on here and it's, uh, this is a pretty small one. I have several of these um, like medium size wet bags from when we cloth diapered. Um, we don't even bother to zip it. We just shove napkins in there. It's obviously full right now. So when it's full, I either run a load with dish towels and these napkins, or I just dump the bag into a bucket in the utility sink in my laundry room. The bucket plus the sink is kind of overkill, but I like it having it in the bucket because then I can dump the bucket into the washing machine and not have to touch all the dirty napkins pulling them out of the sink. So when the bag is full, you put it in the, you can see there's my literal dirty laundry right here. Um, dish towels and stuff in there. And then I just kind of dump out the bag, shake it and push it all in there. When you're washing um, cloth, napkins and towels and stuff like that, you don't want to overfill your washer. These are all already kind of damp. Um, if you fill up the washer all the way, it has a harder time getting them clean. It's fun having a light in my washing machine. You can turn off the light too. But... After a few years, these napkins get kind of, um, they can get kind of build up and whatnot. So I'm going to boil these to get the oily build up off of them. And I'll show you what that's like. Just checking in on my hot napkins. Napkins are kind of loud. I'm going to use my pasta scoop to stir it. Um, I'm probably going to put a little more water because we want the water line to be above so that when the, like the oils and stuff will float to the top and then it's not on the napkins anymore. But this is not looking too bad yet. Um, another thing I do regularly is um, when I wash them, I wash them on sanitize in my washing machine. Okay, my stove is making a crazy noise, but I am putting a little bit of Blue Dawn dish soap in this now, since I'm trying to remove um, oil primarily. And stir my pot of napkins and see what comes out. You can see the water is not real clean looking, but this is nothing like the last time I did this. I'm doing it again um, because I had never pretty much done it before. Okay, my napkins have been cooking for about 10 minutes. I'm going to attempt to remove them. This is kind of hard on my spoon. I've got an empty pot right here that I just move them over to because they are very hot. There's a shot of that lovely napkin water. And these were clean napkins, which is why it's a good idea to do this every once in a while. Because, ew. So now that they're done boiling and I put them in the empty pot, so I'm not dumping all the water in here, I'm dumping them into the washing machine. They look real small in there, but it's actually a lot of napkins. Um, this step will rinse and spin them so they can go in the dryer. Rinse and spin. I'm going to use the rinse. Another thing that causes buildup on my napkins is lime in our water. So that's a whole different system to get it out if necessary. I hope you enjoyed our video on cloth and napkins and consider using less paper towels now that you know how easy it is. I'm going to show you our uh, basket that we keep the napkins in because I forgot about that. And then uh, we'll see you next time.